Now, everyone opens an order confirmation email, so why are you wasting that opportunity and sending the same generic message as every other brand? Here's how to create a branded, original, revenue-driving Shopify order confirmation email in minutes. And you don't have time to waste, so let's get to it. Now, creating an amazing Shopify order confirmation email requires only three simple steps, two in your email marketing provider and one inside of Shopify, but they're all super easy. Now, step one is to actually create an amazing order confirmation email. So to do that, I need an amazing email marketing tool. So I'm gonna jump into my OmniSend account. All right, I'm in OmniSend, so I'm gonna click over to automation and create new workflow. And here, I'm just gonna search for order confirmation email. And here we are. You can see I've got a bunch of them. Uh, I'm gonna do one with an SMS message just for kicks here. But you can see we've got this workflow all set up, ready to go. So OmniSend, you make this way too easy on me. So, what we can see here is that we have an order confirmation message right down here. We have a subject line and pre-header. These are fine for now. If you wanna give them a little more flair, you certainly can. Thanks for your order. We need 12 pieces of flair today to feel good. And right here, we're gonna edit the content of our order confirmation message. We wanna make this looking good and really build it out to be a brand specific one that's going to hopefully drive some revenue for you as well. OmniSend will provide all the information you need from order information and all this. Now we just need to add to it to make this our own. So this is all a pretty big and simple drop and drag editor. We could do our quick ads over here. So we wanna add text, headings and such. So things like logo, we can replace our logo here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just select this one right here. Now we've got a logo, we can resize that if we want. And really the goal of the order confirmation message is to thank the customer, give them the info, which we already pre-populate down here for you. But we have the opportunity to drive more sales and provide more information to make it a better user experience. So how we can do that is uh, obviously customizing this, but make this your own. Hey, thanks for your order. While you're waiting, here are some great things to keep in mind or here's some information on your order details. And we can add that here. So. and more because there's always more, right? And then we can customize it however we want. Uh, but as we move through, now this is where we're gonna start wanting to do different things. So think it's, things to think about are adding a call out to join your SMS program, showing customer favorites or top selling products. Again, encouraging additional sales here. So um, we can simply do that if we wanna just say add one column right down here and then we can add some text and say, okay, we'll do, Make a minute, and then here we can do again. We'll do some uh, do product recommendations. We can do things like this. So product recommendations. Let's just stick that right there. And now we have the option to add best selling products, recently added products, most viewed products, or we can make it personal to the individual shopper and similar to past purchasers. So obviously your heading you'll customize however you want to see fit. And then down here with product details, if we don't want the price and all that shown, we can just do image title get rid of the description, get rid of the price. You know, we can even get rid of the button here, customize this however we want. And then again, we can show however many products we want here. So uh, let's show four products and you can see where we're going here. Now we can simply add another section and I'm not gonna do this whole thing. I've got one already created. It took me about five minutes to do, but again, we can just add an image here and say, okay, let's make a call out to our text club. We'll sign that up here. Now we're starting to get a message here and then we can link this to, if we have a landing page built in OmniSend for signups, we have that ability because we, that'll give us a URL. We can just paste that URL right in here. And this is what it could look like here. So we build out a message. Hey, thanks for your order. We'll have our information below you'll find. We lay it out for them. We provide some customer service info. We're gonna center the button and make it look nice here. We're gonna provide the pre-built population here. I added a customer service call out here because again, if you have questions about your order confirmation or your order, you're gonna come to this message and this is where we wanna provide the information. So here's how to contact us. We'll link to an order FAQ. We've got our top sellers here. And again, we can make that four, six, eight products. Join our text club. And now we've got a more branded message. But again, think about your own brand, the information you wanna provide. Do you wanna invite them to your social networks? What is the information that you wanna add that you can brand and send to your customers here? And of course, we added a nav bar here, uh, which we can easily do through the quick menu here. Uh, just go to menu and we'll just drop that up here wherever we wanna go. So, and there you go. So now we've got our pre-built menu and this is what it could look like. And again, we can go ahead and preview that. So it's that simple to just build 
a customized order confirmation message, make the colors, fonts, whatever you wanna do more custom to you. And now we've got a message that hopefully will drive a little more revenue. So that's step one. Now, step two, we're gonna finish editing this puppy here. Click finish editing. Now, step two is to create a thank you message inside of OmniSend. And why we need to do that is that Shopify will not allow brands to turn off the order confirmation message sent out of the Shopify system. So we wanna replace that message with a thank you message. And here's the beauty of a thank you message. It is an email best practice to send one. So really we're killing two birds with one stone here, but we can do it right from this page as well. So we'll click the edit thank you email here. And you can see this is one I pre-built already, but it's really the same functionality here. So once we have a thank you message, it's gonna carry over for us uh, to make it easy. But all I did here was same thing. Now we limit you a little bit with what you can have here, but I added a section threw an image in here, which was, I uploaded, changed the text a little bit. Hey, while you wait for your order, we wanna take this time to simply thank you for being part of the OmniSend family. Now, a best practice with a thank you message is to do that. You thank the customer, you don't have to have a call to action to shop, provide some sort of call to action in here. It could be to customer service, could be join, to join a text club, it could be really to anything, go to your social networks, uh, order FAQs. This message is designed to thank the customer, build and nurture a relationship with them, which you could see did this. It took me about two and a half minutes to do to change this. Again, I added customer service info here. Uh, what to do while you wait. And here's just an idea for having a continuing section for you. So, hey, join our text club, connect with us on social. You can link to a special promotion if you want here for only customers. Uh, if you have the ability to add to your order before it ships, you can make those call outs here, but pretty simple with what, what you wanna do. Thank the customer, provide a call to action, but not a call to action necessarily to shop. This is gonna be sent out of Shopify. Once you're finished with this, we're gonna go ahead and finish editing, but here's where you wanna go because this is gonna take us to step three for Shopify. We're gonna click up here by the preview button and we're gonna say get HTML here. So once you're happy with this message, click get HTML and here's the HTML to the message. Now we make it easy for you, copy to clipboard. So we're gonna copy this and now we are finished with step one and step two. So once we've copied that, we're gonna close, we're gonna click finish editing and we are going to hit start workflow once everything is done. So here's an example of the other workflow I did, which also had an SMS in here and I just slightly tweaked the SMS message. Hey, thanks for your order from OmniSend. View your order details here. We automatically pre-populate that for you. Click start workflow, that's the important step. And now you're done with step one and your step two, and it's only been minutes. Step three, we're gonna go to our Shopify admin panel, and we're gonna go to settings on the bottom left. With the settings, we're gonna navigate down to notifications on the left-hand rail. We're gonna click on customer notifications and order confirmation. Now here is the order confirmation message that Shopify default sends out from your store and you cannot turn this off. So up in the right corner, we can click edit code. Here is the code for the message. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our subject line. Thanks for your recent order. It's always a good subject line, always gets me 68% uh, open rates here uh, in the initial 24, 48 hours, but you can customize this to whatever you want right down here. And we are just gonna paste the code that we had in here and we can preview what that message looks like. Lo and behold, we've got ourselves a thank you message and or confirmation message sending out and we can close it here and once you are done you are saved click save up here now here's the beauty as well if you do this and then you at one time want to change this code you can if you want to revert back to the original you can as well you're going to follow these same steps coming to here and at the very bottom if i were to save this you would have this option right here revert to default and what that will do is revert it back to the original Shopify built order confirmation message. So you never have to worry about breaking things or needing to go back. And once you click save, you are done. So that was pretty easy, wasn't it? So there it is, an awesome order confirmation email and customer thank you message in only minutes. And that will separate you from the other completely unoriginal companies. You see how easy it is to use OmniSign. So go ahead and try it for yourself if you're interested in learning more about OmniSign and all the value they offer with all their plans, even their free ones. Be sure to visit OmniSign.com, which is also linked in the video description. And if you're interested in more e-commerce marketing videos that will increase your sales, check out this one right there. Until next time, happy marketing.